So when it comes to smartwatches, uh, platform on which the smartwatches are running, that is the RTOS that on which they work on, uh, I believe uh, uh, the open platform kind of a, or a agnostic kind of an OS such as um, the Android Wear and the Apple's uh, iOS uh, platform on which the Apple uh, Watch is based on, I think these uh, need to expand further and provide a lot more versatility and uh, uh, customization so that the other vendors can uh, start um, using these, uh, this platform rather than going ahead with a proprietary format which is a kind of a put off for any uh, growing community because the developer community wants to develop uh, various apps for these uh, smart uh, wearable tech and when it, if it comes to supporting so many other multiple platforms then it would really be a painful process for the developers. So when, if it is either Android or iOS platform then it would make the things much simpler and I think already Windows has already died out in this particular category because none of the uh, smartwatches uh, support the Windows uh, mobile uh, category and uh, I think also the future of the Windows mobile is kind of almost towards the verge of its extinction because I don't see any other uh, new releases coming up from a Windows pla mobile platform. Android is going to release the Android Wear 2.0 this year and uh, some of the recent smartwatches including the Moto 360 second generation and not the first generation is going to get the update for uh, the 2.0 version. So there are uh, other uh, models such as the Foss Fossil Q Marshall and uh, the uh, recent uh, LG Urban 2 and uh, Asus ZenWatch 3 and uh, ZenWatch 2. Probably there are uh, quite a few other uh, smartwatches which are going to smartwatches which run on the Android Wear platform which are going to get the upgrades from from the current uh, Marshmallow and uh, Android 1.5 based uh, platform into the Android Wear 2.0. So some of the other uh, facilities or features that are going to be launched in 2.0 are going to be uh, taken advantage of in the with these uh, smart uh, smart watches which were released uh, just a few months ago. And um, Google I think is uh, planning for releasing uh, two smartwatches, I believe, uh, with NFC support to support the Android Pay uh, platform uh, wherein you can make payments using your watch itself. And uh, I think the uh, older uh, generation of these smartwatches are, does, do not have, none of them had the NFC support. And I think uh, it is going to be a miss for uh, uh, these uh, older uh, smartwatches but I, I think the um, uh, Google uh, branded uh, new smartwatches with the Android 2.0 built in with NFC support are going to cost a lot more uh, probably in the range of 40 to 50,000. So if uh, you are in the budget range of let's say 20 to 25,000 you can still go ahead and buy those uh, buy these uh, new uh, the recent already released smartwatches which are running on the Android 1.5 version. Just you need to make sure that they will get an upgrade when the Android uh, where 2.0 gets released.